Happy Sunday, Paper Crafters. It's Kim Ferguson, and I'm here to do a sports Sunday. I had pretty much given up that I wasn't going to be doing it today, but I have enough time before I go to bed. And Google chose number 13, which is pens and pencils. So I'm going to be using a black pen just to do some accents on this soccer layout. So I basically went through my baggie where I store my soccer supplies and I came up with all these pieces. So all I had to do was cut my white 12 by 12 paper down by half an inch on each um, on two sides so that I could put the black behind it. And I gutted my black so as to not waste that middle part because this is pretty thick white cardstock from close to my heart as is the black. So no sense in having two thick card stocks laid on top of each other. So that helps to um, save some black for another project. I'm not going to be attaching the photos tonight. I don't have them um, printed, but I know exactly what I'm using. And um, I can just make this generic enough because I know over years and years of my own boys and my grandson there is a lot of soccer pictures and uh atg just kind of went a little crazy here what are we doing atg that is not the way that we work let's see if we can get this working again it doesn't usually give me much fuss but it sure is tonight look at that oh dear oh this was gonna be a quick get on here and do something but uh Obviously, this has something else in mind. So I hope you guys have had a good Sunday. And um, maybe some of you are like me and have the next week off for spring break. I don't really have any um, commitments other than I need to be in this, this craft room working. So I'm hoping to... Let me get this going here. Hoping to get some work done on scrapbooking. Oh, this is just, this is aggravating. It's, it's gotten on the wrong side. And it's kind of like once it does that, it can be a real pill to get it getting back the other way. So let's, let's get this to be fixed. So as soon as you kind of squeeze it together, It'll transfer the piece up to the right side, but it's wrapped all around this. So let's get that back off. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that was a big sigh. I just feel like I have more time right now, and I just feel like everything I'm touching this weekend is just out to make this not work for me this weekend so I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is okay so now we got to get this back off here oh my goodness I just don't know if I have another enough adhesive I'm just going to see if I have enough adhesive on other things I don't have the patience for that I just don't I don't have too many Things that didn't work this weekend. So I go with this. <laughs> All right. So huh. it's amazing how our ATG can ruin our relaxing time. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it just really can be stubborn. And that was a good example of it. All right. I want this goal to be up here. And then you can see that I have these hexagons cut out already. I don't know what I made these from and for, but I have this lovely soccer paper and I can almost guarantee it was uh, Creative Memories. So I've had it for a really long time and I've cut these out and I had them just stored in that plastic bag. And I laid them out like this. And I'm like, look at that. Instant layout. And that is not the way I had them. I had these up here. CATG, you got 
got this all messed up now. All your fault, ATG. So I had three across. And I had two. And then I had one. There we go. Okay, now we're back in this. And I want to bring this down just a little bit more. So we're just going to hope that this adhesive lasts for us. Bring this down just a little bit. Trying to just kind of see, you know, I'm eyeballing it here. To make it a simple and fun layout. Minus our frustrations with ATG. Yeah, funny. Sometimes ATG is a booger. Reminds me of a booger right now. Okay. So, trying to line that up. Best I can. Doesn't matter. It's just a scrapbook layout. And, you know, pictures will go on here. We'll cover up some of this anyway. So... There's a point that it's like good, good enough is good enough. So I think that's getting a little far apart, isn't it? But our goal is going to go over that. So that's okay. They may have needed to be spaced out just a little bit more. Let's see here. This one seems to be down quite a bit. Even it out just a little bit. I'm probably not going to get it perfect, but just move in it a bit able to still lift it all right there we go okay so there's our pattern all right so now we're going to put the goal down and i wondered about if i wanted to pop this up that might be a good idea i'm going to reach past you guys so pardon the reach there i have a little bit of this on there, so I don't have to put as much adhesive tape. I'm just gonna go right across here. So this is Fun Foam, and you can get it in really large packs from like Walmart. And it is covered with adhesive on one side. You just peel this off and place it down for dimension. A lot cheaper than foam adhesives or these foam rolls. These are close to my heart, which, you know, if, if you really do like the rolls and you're skeptical about the acid content in this, then these are acid-free and okay to use in your albums. And they're from close to my heart. And there's different thicknesses. And there's, uh, as far as, see how thin this one is compared to this as is the foam different but i think these are all from the same pack there's another pack that's a it's a thinner thinner this way but then still a different widths lit widths lengths thick thin <laughs> what's what's the right way to say that okay so let's use a little bit of this because i ran out of that i'm just kind of grabbing things that are right here on my desk because as I said I tried to just kind of throw this together tonight trying to stay in getting at least one layout done a day but it's been a busy weekend and like I say things just seem to not be going right for me or maybe I'm I don't know I am not tired I wasn't frustrated until the HEG <laughs> so I don't know I'm just a little bit off Kind of weird when our bodies do that. I don't know what it is. Been home, been working on getting. Um, so I use the the cloud, you know, the 
cloud to store files on computers so you can use it across devices. That's probably it telling me that it's done something else. <laughs> so I've been working on getting everything transferred onto the new drive, hard drive that I have for my computer and just cleaning up the mess that had happened with my Windows update. So it's it's been very successful. Things have gone well. I'm just a little slow at it. And then if you're like me and you have a bunch of SVG files, it takes a long time to transfer those. So I've been shuffling those around. I've also been trying to clean up my school files within the cloud. That's the main reason why I have it is so that I can work on school files here and then open them up at school but not doing that right now. So just, you know, tidying it up here at home and just doing a bunch of housekeeping. So I feel like everything went well. I don't think I deleted or lost something that's crucial. I, I hope that's not the case. I hope I'm gonna move this down while I center this. So yeah. Oh, here I was gonna put some glue on these pieces that don't have adhesive. So we're just going to hang in there and cross our fingers that I haven't lost something. Fortunately, we did add a new uh, solid state hard drive. And so the old hard drive is still there. I can still access it. So all would not be completely lost if I didn't get something transferred over. So yeah, so I've, I've you know, commented that I had this going on and that's exactly what I have been in the middle of. And I think as of tonight, I am officially done. So back in business, everything seems to be working. I've done my motivation challenge video and I think that sounded fine. It's exactly how I'm sitting right now. Oh, I was going to put some washing tape down. Look at, I have some grass washi tape. This is what happens. I get to talk in and I just start working, don't explain anything. But I like to talk. And I don't like to do voiceovers and edits. Not me. That's not what I like to do. So that's why you get to see me uh, fighting with the ATG. There. So we got some grass. So I've got washi tape, paper piecings, cut out pattern paper, matting. So lots of different things on this. And then I still have to use um, a pen. So it was pen or pencils for my Google choice. So I'm just going to write some soccer terms down and call it good tonight because there's already a lot of things on this layout for just, you know, grabbing from my soccer bin. Quite pleased. Maybe I'll put a little bit behind that soccer ball so I can it seemed to mention behind it. So this is the benefit of making uh, paper piecings ahead. I didn't have to, you know, set these up and cut them out and piece them tonight. They were already, they were in my soccer storage container. And uh, who knows how old they are, but we're getting them on a page. So very exciting. And I think this is my 16th day in a row, at least, at least 15 days of getting on and doing scrapbooks layouts. I am not putting pictures on this time because I, I just, I didn't want to, I didn't have time to grab those tonight to get done. So I've chose to do this instead. Okay. So I'm going to do some lines with my pen to show movement. So that's one way you can use your pens to draw in lines for details. These are Cricut cuts and I didn't do much detail on them at all. I can use a white pen to maybe put some eye, you know, like some pupils. Let's see if my white pen is wanting to work tonight. Do yours quit working sometimes? This is not a good one. Let's grab another one. So I need to obviously go through my white pens. There we go. Let's give them some light to their eyes. 
can do some pen work on details. This is not a good white pen. We're getting some, some details on here. Okay, and then I thought what I would do is go over this. I'm going to write score. And then I thought I'd go here and say dribble. And let's see. No hands because this was for a three-year-old. We had to keep yelling that. There we go. Yeah, let's put some lines here. Okay, Bender's arms, under hers. All right, I think we're gonna call that good. So aside from the photos, I have another layout done using just the things that were already in my stash. And as simple as using a pen just to put a few little words on here rather than digging through my stickers tonight but I want to hold to what Google tells me I should be doing. So I hope you enjoyed this simple, a um, little bit frustrating, you know, video with the ATG, but I'll get that fixed. That's no big deal. That's uh, probably a lot of the user error. And uh, I will hopefully see you back here tomorrow for Mother's Day Monday. So I hope that you are all doing well. I hope you're getting some time to craft. And I hope that you will comment below on what you're doing and like and share and subscribe and join the Facebook group and tell us what you're doing. Take care. Happy crafting.